Good morning. Well done. Are you up? Are you ready? Are you there? Ready for a great day? What has happened so far? Just out of bed or sitting having your lunch? Good morning. It is great to see you. Whoa, there we go. Perfect. Uh, well done. Are you having breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack? Where are you? Hiding under a duvet, sitting at the kitchen table, in your living room. How big am I on a screen? Maybe I'm just on a phone and I am diddy diddy me. Maybe I am on a huge screen. I have loved seeing your pictures. Here I am on a huge screen. Look at that, never been so big. But this picture is not about me. It is about Hannah, Caleb, and would you know it, it is Daniel's ninth birthday. Daniel, I hope you have a brilliant birthday. The figures are there, the family is there, Hannah's even dressed up especially. Have a great day, Hannah, Caleb and Daniel. Enjoy your birthday, Daniel. And here we have the Kilgore family. I think this could have been yesterday's story. Thank you for sending us this straight away. This is Jesus explaining that he has to die and rise again and be pushed away by the Pharisees. Thank you, Kilgores, for sending me that. You keep on going with your figures and your amazing props. You have leapt into action. Now, in every superhero film, there is a moment when we discover what the hero is really like. So, for instance, there is a moment when, when Bruce Wayne pops on his suit and becomes Batman with his amazing belt. And then he can, what can he do? He, I mean, he's quite strong, but he's mainly got amazing cars. There is a moment. He's not a hero, but when we discover that Kylo Ren can do things with your mind. And there's a moment. Oh no, that's silly. I picked up Gecko. I picked up Gecko so you can't see him. Hang on, I know what I can do. I can turn this off. Oh, there. The trick is gone. There is Gecko. There's a moment when you discover that Gecko really can climb up walls and be invisible and have super strength. I'll put Gecko away. There is a moment in every hero film where you discover what the hero can really do. Maybe even what he is really like. Well, today's story is such a treat. It is one of my very favorite stories in the Bible because it's when I discover what my Lord Jesus is really like. I catch a glimpse of who he really is in his majesty and his glory. Should we pray together? We would see this together. Let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you that Jesus Christ may look like you and me. He may look so ordinary, but he is the Lord. He is our King. He is majestic. Help us to understand who he is today so that we may worship him. Amen. Okay, are we ready? So I've got my Jesus. Here we are there, Jesus. Now in today's story, we are going to need a few of Jesus's disciples. Okay, there we are. Here we are. Okay, let's go. Let's look at this story together. Six days later, Jesus took only Peter, James and John and went up on a high mountain. They were all alone there on top of the mountain. While these followers watched, Jesus was changed. As they were looking at him, suddenly 
Jesus was changed. His clothes became shining white, whiter than any person could make them. In other words, they saw Jesus as he really is. That is, in his glory, the Son of God. He was turned white, dazzling. I wish I had a light so bright that it made you go, ah! I don't, I'm sorry. But that's what it was for them. They had to shield their eyes to stop them being blinded. Then two men appeared talking with Jesus. The men were Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah. Here they are. Moses has his big prophet suit on. Peter said to Jesus, because he was nervous and he just blurts stuff out when he gets nervous. Uh, teacher, it's good that we're here. We'll put up three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. Tents, Peter. Peter didn't know what to say because he and the others were so frightened. Have you ever got like that? It's words just come tumbling out your mouth and you're not quite sure what's going on. That is because he was seeing Jesus as he really is. Then a cloud came and covered them. A voice came from the cloud. The voice said, ready for a loud booming voice. Can you do it with me? I'll do it once, then we'll practice it together. Loud booming voice. This is my son and I love him. Obey him. Should we do that again? This is my son and I love him. Obey him. After three. One, two, three. This is my son and I love him. Obey him. Did you do it right? Do it again later. Then Peter, James and John looked around and suddenly they saw only Jesus there alone with them. Oops, and he had gone back to normal. As Jesus and his followers were walking down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Shh, don't tell anyone about the things you saw on the mountain. Wait till the Son of Man rises from death, then you may tell others. You see, for just a moment, they got to see Jesus as he really is, as the King, as the hero. You see, they'd understood he was the King, the Christ. So now Jesus let them see what he is really like. Now there will be a day when we will see Jesus as he's really like. And he won't have a red cap on and a pair of blue dungarees. And he won't even have Ed's homemade flappy suit on. He will be glorious. We won't blurt out stuff because in the new creation, our brains will work wonderfully well and we'll know exactly what to say. I wonder if you know what you're going to say when you meet Jesus in glory. It's worth having a go. Don't be nervous. Shall I leave you with some questions? You know how to do this. I hope you're loving doing this. Because don't just listen to me. Get thinking and talking and you'll come up with new wonderful ideas you hadn't discovered for yourselves before and then pray thank Jesus for what he is really like thank Jesus for what you have seen him to be today or pray about what you look forward to saying to him here are some questions I'm going to leave these with you why don't you press pause now and I'll see you again tomorrow press pause on these questions have a conversation Threes to fives, how did Jesus change? Fives to sevens, what else happened that showed how amazing Jesus really is, apart from the bright white suit? Eights to elevens, 
What reasons do we see in this story to listen to Jesus? I think you could probably come up with three or four. Why should we listen to Jesus, 8 to 11s? And finally, over 11s. What will we do today because we are listening to Jesus? Because he is glorious. Press pause now. Have a great conversation.